now, ladies and gentlemen, a special added attraction for Belle Fontaine only. The great McGonagall will entertain you with his extraordinary feats of legerdemain and conjuring, with which he has entertained and mystified the crowned heads of Europe. And don't forget, folks, tomorrow night, East Lynn, and now, the great McGonagall. <laughs>
Uh, there's no, no answer, no answer. Pull up your socks. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Go ahead. Uh, Who is it? Can we come in? Sure. Dad has something to tell you, Betty. Oh, I have to turn these things in. Sit down, won't you? Be back in a minute. Uh, never mind this. Uh, you run to the boarding house and pack all the trunks. Where are we going, Governor? Oh, go! Quick, hurry! And you really don't object anymore, Dad? No. You can marry Betty tomorrow. If you'll find a way to get rid of the great McGonagall. I won't have it known that we're even remotely related to that egotistical windbag. Why, the man is an out-and-out -out rascal. Oh, but you don't know him, Dad. I don't want to know him. He's a great actor. A great actor? Oh, Wally, don't let anybody ever hear you say that. Why, he's a disgrace to his profession. Rather blunt fellow, that. No, Wally. You have a lot to learn about people. Well? Well, um, well maybe i better let Wally tell you. I love you, Wally. But I'll never leave Pop as long as he needs me. Uh, <coughs> uh, oh, dear, there you are. I've been looking for you. Um, uh, oh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to close the show. Why, Pop, there was a full house tonight. I know there was, dear. I didn't see the receipts, but from what I heard, they sounded very good. Well, then what happened? I uh, got a very flattering offer to come to New York. New York? Yes, dear. Gee. Mm. When are we going? Uh, unfortunately, I have to go alone, honey. I know that you wouldn't stand in the way of my success. I'll send for you later on. In the meantime, you shall receive your allowance. What's going on here? Oh. Ah, uh, my good Mrs. Wendelschaefer, I regret having awakened you at this unearthly hour. But a friend of mine, Charlie Bonner, the top mounter of the Glinseretti family, is coming to spend a few days with me. We're bringing his trunk in. Come, come. No, you don't. Huh? I've had enough of your kind. Take that trunk right out of here. <gasps> Mrs. Wendelschaefer. Go on, go on, go on. However, you are mistress of this establishment. Oh, dear Charlie. How my heart bleeds for him. Hurry, 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 hurry. Let's go. I wonder where he'll sleep tonight. You'll regret this in the morning. <laughs> 